Welcome to video two of Scratch and creating a Frogger video game. Today we're going to start to move the frog around. Um, in the past, I know a number of you have used this when the space key pressed, um, and you've used that very effectively. I find in the video game um, that it, if I have a bunch of different things that are all being having events starting at different times. I find there sometimes is a, an unexpected delay when you click on those things. So I'm not gonna use that in this case. In this case, I'm gonna use a slightly different model. And it's all based off of when the green flag is clicked. And so this is gonna be the one main script that controls our game. There will be other scripts that we'll, we'll make a little later. Um, and so when we do this, as with most of the code that you're going to um, start with, it, when the green flag is clicked and then there's a forever. And right off the bat, we just want to get our, fra our frog moving. Um, and so you'll notice that just below the forever, the next one down is an if statement. And um, we're going to duplicate this a number of times. But um, notice how the if has kind of a, almost a diamond shaped area. And you, what you'll notice as you go through the different control panel uh, areas is that sensing has the most of these kind of diamond shaped pieces. And uh, one of them is very similar to the one that we were looking at before. It says key space pressed. Um, and if you try and put it into that diamond shape, you'll see that eventually, there it is, it finally notices it, highlights, and then it will go inside. Um, you can, you know it's in the right place if you drag the if and move it around. If the blue piece goes with the if, then they're actually connected, which is a good thing. And let's start with the up arrow first. So I'm just going to choose, um, by the way, if you didn't already notice it, that the uh, space has a little um, triangle beside it, which is an indicator that there's a drop-down menu built into that piece. Um, sorry if I didn't mention that before. And then, so now I'm going to say if the key up arrow is pressed, then do something and hopefully you've tried one of my videos previously where we went, talked about going to the motion tab you can use move 10 steps as long as you're pointing in the right direction but that's just a little bit more complicated than we need so instead uh, we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 down um, there's a change y by 10 and just up from there there was a change x by 10 so please notice that there's these lovely little values over here to remind you that x uh, goes side to side and y goes up and down and that's true in video games it's true in math if you're ever doing any kind of graphing in math um, so this is a really great introduction to why x and y it's so important that we um, use those terms and and they're just totally random terms but they're also very old terms uh, they've been in use for a long time so in this case where we want to do the up arrow uh, as you can tell by the arrows here we're going to use y and uh, hopefully you already know that uh, to make the to make the y go up um, you can see here that it currently is at negative 85 I'm going to move it up a little bit, oh, negative 57, move it up a little bit more, negative 19, move it up a little bit more, positive 17, move it up a little bit more, positive 59, move it up a little bit more, positive 101. So that's what we want to do is, is to change y by, we'll start with 10 for now. Um, and so if I move it down to the bottom and I just click on this one time, um, then you can see nothing is really happening. And so please notice that this is if the key up arrow is pressed. Where's the key up arrow? Well, it's on your keyboard in case you haven't tried that before. So if I connect this into here and I click the green flag, the program is now running and nothing is happening and that's okay because it's waiting to see if you've pressed the up arrow key. So go onto your keyboard and press the up arrow key and your frog should start moving upwards. If you've done that, then that's great. You can press the stop sign just to stop the code or other ways to do that. Um, so let's just pull that if out and just kind of take a good look at that and say, is there an easy way for me to duplicate this for the other 
three arrow keys. And now that we know that some of them will change by Y and some of them will change by X, can you figure out how to make this go? I'm going to leave that with you for now. I'm going to come back with the next video is going to show you the answer, but I want you just to experiment and give it a try right now on your own. Okay. So we'll come back in the next video. We'll give you the answer, but while you're just taking a moment, just take a moment to see if you can figure that out.